Hello world, Calc Programmer one here. I just wanted to do a little follow-up video on my touchpad emulator program. I showed off a concept a few months ago of my touchpad emulator, which is basically a little program to um, allow you to use the touchscreen on a Linux-powered phone, like the Pine phone, to control a cursor like a mouse on the screen. Uh, it sort of works like a laptop trackpad. And the reason for this is not all applications are really optimized for touch control on Linux. And I wanted to be able to use some of those applications on my phone, uh, like Qt Creator. And it just works a lot better with a cursor, with a mouse. And so the, I wrote this program so you could have a mouse on the go. And so the prototype I demonstrated earlier was pretty crude and it had uh, some rough ed edges like... Uh, you had to use the volume control switch to switch the orientation of the screen uh, as you rotated the screen because otherwise the mouse cursor would move in the wrong direction. Uh, so that's been fixed. I've also cleaned up the build process a bit. It's also now packaged in the Arch user repository, but right now I'm using Mobian and so I'm just going to build it from source. But I've cleaned that process up. So I've already cloned the git to touchpad emulator here. I'm just going to run make and then enter and so that builds it and then I'm going to do sudo make install and so now it's installed and so all we have to do now is as you can see right now the volume keys are working as volume keys <coughs> but this program overrides those so I'm just gonna close out the terminal here and now we should see touchpad emulator is one of the things on the app menu here so I'm just gonna go ahead and open that and it needs to set some things up as root so it brings up this uh, root prompt uh, pseudo prompt so I'm just gonna enter my password here hit enter and now the it should have a cursor, yeah. So now it's in trackpad mode. And so I'm still using the volume keys. If I hit the volume down, it's now in touchpad mode. And I can open the terminal here. And as you can see, there's no on-screen keyboard. And so I added a toggle for that. So if you hit volume down again, now the on-screen keyboard is active. And then clicking it again, it disables it. And the reason I did that is it gets a little annoying when that keyboard is constantly popping up and down and I just wanted to make it so that you could have control over that uh, you can just turn it on turn it off and if it's off it won't keep popping up automatically which I think makes it a lot more user-friendly whenever you're opening apps and the keyboards automatically popping up but then to go back to touchpad mode just click volume up the cursor appears on the screen and just like before, you can move the cursor with one finger. You can right click by putting one finger down and tapping another. That's a right click. You can scroll by uh, doing a two finger swipe. And then you can select by doing, or like click and drag by doing double tap. And then you can highlight. So that is basically a full set of mouse controls. And then now what you can do is if I rotate the screen, it automatically adjusts the orientation. So that is a big improvement. It makes it a lot easier to use is I can just, um, the cursor doesn't automatically, but it's, it's in the correct direction. And then once I, once the cursor actually changes, like if I move it over here and it changes from pointer to the line, then it will reset. Uh, I don't know why it does that, but like, the cursor is sideways, and that happens even with a, a regular mouse. That's an issue with the Pine Phone or with a Fosh. But then the other cool thing about this is you can actually use the phone just by itself as a sort of mobile device. So um, I have my screen here. Uh, let's put everything in the frame. So I've got the Pine Phone, and I've got an external monitor. 
Now let's move this back a little bit. So if we just take this and plug it in, <coughs> the screen should come up. Okay, there we go. So now, normally with the Pine Phone, it's kind of hard to use an external screen without a mouse. But now it's sort of, I can basically use it sort of like a laptop. I have a keyboard, but I don't have a mouse. So I can go on the Pine Phone and I can open up, say, uh, Firefox here. And move the cursor over to the external screen. And, well, that's not Firefox. I must have clicked on the wrong thing. But oh, there's Firefox on the phone screen. So Firefox we can put over here and then we can just click on something with the phone and whenever it loads whenever it loads <coughs> so now we can either use the external keyboard, so I can just type in, you know, click on the uh, box, oh, wrong thing. The Pine Phone does not have palm rejection in laptop mode, so. so I can type in Pine Phone here and search Wikipedia for it. Or I can use the phone's on-screen keyboard because I still have that option to switch the keyboard. So I can just click volume down, volume down again. And click the on-screen keyboard. And then I think typing it, well, I had this working before, but I didn't have an external keyboard plugged in. So yeah, now I can go type in something like uh, Linux and uh, I'm typing on the external monitor so I mean, oh, this keyboard's hard to type on without looking right at it yeah so that is basically what you can do with touchpad emulator and you can use it with an external monitor and it makes it pretty useful because now you can just control uh, and then you can scroll up and down by doing the two finger swipe. So uh, I think this has potential. Some people were talking about the possibility of a laptop dock, something maybe like the Razer Project Lindo, which was a, a laptop where you could slot your uh, Razer phone in and it w was like a laptop style dock. Uh, people were talking about the possibility of using the Pine Phone for that. And I think that's basically what this setup is. If you use the Pine Phone for the mouse, you have a physical keyboard and an extra screen. And you can still use the Pine Phone screen as, uh, as like a secondary monitor because I can just drag this over and, and it's on the Pine Phone screen. So. So yeah, now it's working on there. So I think this opens a lot of potential for the Pine Phone, especially with using it with a dock. And then you can always just unplug that and you're ready to go and switch the keyboard off. And so you can just go from like touchpad mode over to mouse mode and back to, well, back to touchpad mode. So that's uh, what I was trying to accomplish with uh, touchpad emulator, and I think it makes the Pine Phone a lot more usable, um, especially for those applications that aren't optimized for touch. So thanks for watching, and if you want to try it out, uh, I'll post the links in the video description to get the code, build it, and then if I ever do package it for Debian, I will update uh, that with the package information. So thanks for watching.